distinction between fixed assets and current assets. There will be three columns. In the first column, we will have the basis of a distinction between fixed assets and current assets. The second column will be for fixed assets, third column will be for current assets. Basis of a distinction one, nature. In case of fixed assets, fixed assets are long term resources of a business. Whereas in case of a current assets, the nature is current assets are short term resources of a business. Second basis is purpose. In case of a fixed assets, fixed assets are hold for the purpose of running business to earn profit. In case of a current assets, current assets are hold for the purpose of running business for day to day operation and sales. Third basis, this is valuation. In case of a fixed assets, fixed assets are valued at cost less depreciation. Whereas in case of a current assets, current assets are valued at cost or market price, whichever is less. Then fourth basis is sources of a funds. In case of a fixed assets, Fixed assets are acquired out of long term funds. In case of a current assets, current assets are acquired out of a short term funds. Fifth basis of a distinction is subject to change. In case of a fixed assets, fixed assets are not usually subject to change, whereas in case of a current assets, Current assets are usually subject to change. Sixth basis of a distinction is type of a profit. In case of a fixed assets, fixed assets if sold results in capital profit. In case of a current assets, current assets if sold results in trading or re revenue profit. 